Incredibly tender, fall apart, sensational slow rosa meats don't have to be exclusive to restaurants. You can create those amazing meals in your very own home with your Weber Genesis 2 LX barbecue. However, the most succulent, flavour-filled, slow-cooked meals you have tasted and loved are just the beginning. You can cook beautiful seafood, traditional barbecue for family and friends, or crackle a perfect roast pork. Even desserts cook perfectly on your gas barbecue. Your Genesis 2 LX is capable of this and so much more. The convenience and versatility of the Genesis 2 LX allows you to transform the barbecue for low and slow cooking in a matter of seconds, giving you low, consistent heat for hours, whilst your meat is slowly cooking away with that Weber flavour. We'll be using the indirect method for slow roasting our sweet and spicy pork ribs, and we'll show you how to make the perfect sweet and sticky sauce. To get our ribs started and to build up that incredible flavour, we have to make a spice rub. And to do this, we need two tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mix all of these ingredients together in a bowl. Now, here's our ribs. When you buy your ribs, ask the butcher to remove this membrane from the back. If you want to remove the membrane yourself, gently start the process by sliding a butter knife along the cut edge of the bone. Once started, pull the membrane gently off the ribs. To give you a better grip, as this can be a little tricky, use some paper towel or a chucks. Coat both sides with the spice mix. Gently rub the seasoning into the meat. Cover the ribs in plastic wrap and refrigerate for about an hour to marinate. This will allow the spices and flavours to really infuse and penetrate the pork ribs. 30 minutes before cooking, take them out of the fridge to stand at room temperature. Now it's time to preheat your barbecue, which is something you must do every time you cook on your Genesis 2 LX barbecue. To light your barbecue, turn your gas bottle on. Press and turn the left hand control knob to the ignite position. Once the burner is lit, then immediately turn the burner to the high position. Repeat to light the other main burners. When preheating for low and slow roasting, adjust the outside burners to medium and turn the inside burners off. If you have a three burner Genesis 2LX, turn the outside burners to low and the center burner off. Preheat with the lid closed for 10 minutes. Now that the barbecue is preheated, put the ribs in the center of the grill. Or if you have them, you can use a Weber rib rack to stand your ribs on. Adjust the outside burners to low and leave the inside burners off. If you have a three burner Genesis 2LX, leave the outside burners on low and the center burner off. Close the lid and cook for about four hours. Now that our ribs are slowly cooking away, it's time to make that sweet and sticky sauce that'll give our ribs a whole nother dimension of flavor. To make the sauce, you'll need 50 grams of butter, one finely sliced brown onion, 200 mils of tomato sauce, half a cup of whiskey, a third of a cup of brown sugar, 80 mils of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and finally, one teaspoon of garlic powder. To make the sauce, put the butter in a saucepan and cook over low heat until the butter is melted. Once the butter has melted, add the onion and cook for a few minutes or until the onion has softened. Once the onion is cooked, add all of the remaining sauce ingredients. Cook for a further 10 minutes over high heat until the sauce is thick and sticky, making sure to stir the sauce regularly. Now that our ribs have been cooking for four hours, it's time to baste them with our sauce. Using a basting brush, brush the ribs with the sauce on both sides. Close the lid and cook them for another hour. However, every 20 minutes, open the lid and baste the ribs again and again. You will end up with the most tender, juicy, fall off the bone, delicious ribs you have ever tasted. Just look at them. Remember all the information you need to get the best out of your Weber Genesis 2 can be found in this little cookbook that comes with your barbecue.